sometimes when you're trying to reach your money goals, you have to come at it from like a bunch of different angles in order to like really attack it and kill it and win. <laughs> We're gonna do that today. I'm also going to show you all the stuff that I've hoarded for a property I don't even own yet. Um, we're going to go over that. Thank you to Mercari for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Hi friends, I am Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet. And if you don't know much about me, I paid off $33,000 in three years on a tiny reporter salary. And one of the ways that I did that was by just using so many different methods other than just saving money that I made from my day job to get out of debt. I built a business here on YouTube and I started up multiple streams of income. I side hustled. I did all sorts of stuff, including like selling stuff around my home. And I still think this is one of the most underutilized things by people who are trying to get better with money because it works on so many different levels. So first off, if you are cleaning stuff out of your home and selling it, you're making your home more efficient, a better, nicer place for you to live because you're obviously getting rid of stuff that you don't use and don't need and that used to be money that you could like get a portion back of. And you can turn that money and push it towards whatever your next money goal is. And it's just fantastic. If you didn't know, one of my future money goals is to own a short-term rental property. Now I have some videos on my current real estate adventures. I own a duplex, I rent out one side. I am a long-term rental landlord and that's been a really, really fun adventure. I am however ready for a new one and I think short-term rentals are a really cool market. There's potential for extremely high profit off of this market and I very specifically want Want to make a southwestern themed Airbnb in my town of College Station, Texas. In part because I've looked at the Airbnbs around this area and they ain't cute, no offense. Um, they're just like a mishmash of styles and old furniture and stuff and I feel like I could do better and that the people of College Station and the people visiting College Station for things like, oh, Texas A&M games, parents weekend, other regular tourism activities here deserve better. So I've been shopping a little bit, just a, just a little bit, because I'm aware that this is insane to purchase things for a house or a property that you don't own yet and don't even really have a beat on. I have a whole list of videos of me looking for my next property, including looking at a quadplex, an A-frame, and a mobile home that was resheeted into being like a cabin that I really wanted to buy and they just wouldn't let me. <sighs> my heart still, it went pending again. And I'm just like, <sighs> uh, so I don't have this short term rental property yet. I am looking all the time, but while I am looking, I am also kind of collecting some things for it. And I am trying to cash flow this. So I'm finding things at like the thrift store and at yard sales and stuff like that. And I, it's gotten to the point where Jacob now questions when I bring something into the house, he, he does this whole, Hey, is that for our house or a house we don't own yet? <laughs> Which is fair. <laughs> I'm going to show you all the stuff that I have hoarded slash collected slash amassed for my future Airbnb. But first I'm going to show you how I am funding some of this. So I'm saving money from my regular day job income and from my businesses. However, one of my favorite ways to kind of boost that and to get me really even more jazzed about it is to look around my own home and to figure out what things are no longer serving me and that I can turn into money to support this next venture. And this is where our sponsor comes in. I absolutely love Mercari. I have worked with them before. I use their app on my phone all the time and I'm actually probably going to be sourcing some things for my future short-term rental off of Mercari because I love a secondhand purchase. I love essentially paying less than I would new for things and I love a deal. Let's just be honest. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you exactly how simple it is to list some things that I am no longer using like these five outfits back here that I bought pre-pandemic that I am now fully aware that I am never going to wear. And we're gonna turn those into money. You can sell clothing, home goods. It's really an all-in-one app and it's really easy and intuitive to sell there. In fact, we're gonna do it together. Also, just so we're clear here, the proceeds of this sponsorship are going towards my short-term rental fund. 
First, we're gonna go into my Mercari app, and you can see that I've been looking at a lot of really cute Southwestern things as inspo and as potential purchases for my future short-term rental. <laughs> and then I'm gonna click sell an item. And it makes it really, really easy. First, we are just going to take some photos. So this dress I bought on a clearance from ModCloth with a couple other dresses, and the other dresses fit great. This one looks ridiculous on me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and list it and sell it. I'm gonna hit the photo button and take a few shots. The details of it, what size it is. And then I'm also gonna look up the original mod cloth listing and take a screenshot of that so people can know how it looks on a model. I. You can try it on yourself. I'd prefer to use the model shots. Also, I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, I actually found a photo of like an actual person wearing it. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, just make sure you have plenty of photos. People love photos. And then I'm gonna say what my item is. And you know what? You can even cheat and like go to the original mod cloth listing and figure out how they sold it and do it the same way because obviously it worked on me. Select a category, women, dresses. And then I'm going to set my price at $35 because we want it to sell and that it's more than I paid for it. And then it lets you set a floor pricing, $29. Sure, it's just clothing something that used to be money sitting in my closet right now i can buy a lot of thrift store items for 30 dollars, and then i list it according to my camera despite the fact that i was uh narrating this entire thing this took less than seven minutes and i'm gonna do the exact same thing and sell my other items I don't know why I waited so long to do this. Every single time that's what I end up telling myself. Now that we've posted these five listings on Mercari, I can just sit back and wait for the bids and the sales and the money to come on in. Make sure you check out Mercari at the link below. If you're not using them already, absolutely download it. Sell some of that clutter in your house that used to be cash, make your home better and put some more dollars in your wallet win 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 by the way if you are enjoying this video or any of my videos on my channel i would absolutely love it if you subscribe because i am trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers this year we're at about 92 right now and i am so jazzed and i just want to keep growing this community and throwing more into it and teaching you more stuff as i learn it in the hopes that you can do even better than me so go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you feel really generous share this channel with somebody that you think might like it as well so now as promised uh, let's look at all the stuff that I have bought for the short-term rental that I don't own yet. <laughs> Maybe I'm an insane person, but if I am, then my friend Kelly is too, because she is also doing a similar version of this video today, showing things that she has hoarded for her future short-term rental. Um, hers is going to be a kind of beachy farmhouse theme down in South Florida, where she lives, which works for her market. So she has already ordered like towels and stuff, which I haven't. I've only bought like little unique pieces, um, mostly. I'll let you guys uh, debate in the comments below whether or not we are absolute lunatics. But let's go through what I have bought for my rental. I don't think I'm nuts. I think I'm trying to curate a uh, really unique looking theme. I don't want it to just be like generic stuff or mismatched stuff. And like I said, I'm only picking up stuff secondhand and for really good deals. So let's start with the stuff I keep waving around. This I got at Goodwill for $1.99. It is a really cute little cactus face. I could not resist it. The exact same Goodwill shop, I got this for $3.99. I think it would be, it's real pottery, like it's signed on the bottom and everything. And I think it works perfectly for that like Southwestern theme. And I think this would be perfect for holding utensils in the kitchen on the stove. This was something new I bought. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it was only a couple of bucks. It was so cheap that I couldn't miss it. Um, but I figured these, this is a mini wooden serving set, but I figured this could be used to, uh, you know, put a cup on or something like that. It's just some really cute acacia wood um, that would work throughout. Oh, well, here we All right, so here's the actual thing that started it all. This uh, crochet cactus pillow. I got this off of Marketplace for $7 
and I don't know what it was. I fell in love with it. I actually thought this would be like the cutest thing in a little Airstream, um, but I think it'd be cute as a Southwest theme anywhere. And I just, I just love it. And if somebody stole this out of an Airbnb, I would be so mad. Um, it does look like it was made by actual people, um, a crafty concept. I haven't looked them up, but this was the inspo. All right, next I went to an estate sale on my lunch break that was filled with absolutely gorgeous kind of Southwestern stuff. I couldn't afford all of it, but I could afford some. I got this really cool step stool with just a ton of weathering. I think this was four or five dollars. Um, either way, totally worth it. Dovetail freaking joints, people. And I don't know exactly what I would do with it, but it would go in there somewhere. At that same sale, I got this for a dollar. It's not my favorite. I actually really don't want to do any like horns or actual dead animals in my country, modern country, southwestern themed Airbnb, but this was a dollar. Um, and she kind of threw it in with the rest of the stuff. This was what I, I went to the sale for. So they actually had a bunch of these handmade runners and throws and this is exactly what I want. Um, this was $12, which probably sounds bananas, but all the other ones I've seen are like 40 and 60 and there were some other really pretty ones there that were handmade that were that much. So yeah, how pretty over either uh, like a table or a bookcase or something, but theme, theme right there. Now they're estate sale they actually said this is like a hundred years old it's pure pewter um and it's uh they said it used to be a sugar bowl i just thought it was really nice kind of architectural looking and that was a dollar a dollar um also i think it was a dollar or two this little it's actually a little broken right here and i might have to try to fix it um hanging pendant i know it's not perfectly southwestern but i think I could make it work. I have a bigger one that used to hang in my old apartment and I just really liked it. These cactus glasses. I absolutely love these. As you can see, they were 99 cents each at Goodwill. I uh, picked them up and I've been hoarding them since. There are four of these. I just think they're really nice. I've seen these, these are not super unique. I've seen cactus glasses before, but usually they have little arms that like reach out, which just seem like they would break immediately. Um, but these are, these are very nice. And I also got this little box for a dollar, I think, from the same Goodwill that I've been keeping them in. That will probably also be used as decor there. Also a plant. First off, I am growing this Monstera and some other plants strategically for a future Airbnb. I have a lot of plants. Um, large plants are expensive. Um, it takes a while to grow them that big. And if you buy them that big, they're like 50 bucks. So this plant right here with this really cool kind of terracotta little footies, look at them, pot, um, and this Monstera, I'm going to be actively growing for the Airbnb because I love my two other Monsteras so much that I could not let strangers near them. All right, so real talk, buying a Monstera this big is really expensive, which is why we're starting with this guy. This guy started out like one leaf Jacob bought off of eBay. So this thing, I can make that huge. It's gonna get big, it's gonna get gorgeous. Then I don't have to pay that price. So preparation. I'm also kind of low key growing these guys and uh, some of these plants for future Airbnb. You know, just trying to propagate them, keep them cute. This guy is gonna be really nice for that. Frugal. Like if you're enjoying the devolution into insanity. <laughs> Next, another good will find is this little cactus pillow. Kelly was asking me earlier, because uh, we were showing each other all of our stuff, um, whether this is supposed to be like a little foot pillow or a little couch pillow. And I admit, it's a little awkward, but it was $1.99 at Goodwill. And yes, I cleaned it. And I just, I don't, I don't know if they go together, but it was too cute to pass up, y'all. I'm a shopper at heart. For a while there during my Dave Ramsey days, I was like, I was, I'm a natural spender, but I had turned into a saver. Now I still save, I still save and invest 40% of my income, but I think at heart I'm still a shopper and I can't resist a good deal that I know will get to good use. The biggest expense so far, we've been talking like dollar to $5 items. I bought this from a local Texas artist. Jacob and I drove an hour to go get it. 
and I spent $50 on this, but I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It has a hanger right here and right here. So I could hang this above a bed. I could hang this on the wall. I could hang it vertically outside a door. I just think it's really cool. It was handmade by an artist here in Texas and I just love the colors. <laughs> I will probably not be spending a lot more money right now to uh, purchase any art or wall hanging things because I'm still not sure whether this is going to be an Airstream, a yurt, a dome, a tiny house, a I don't know what it's going to be yet but I know it's going to be themed this. All right y'all we're in the home stretch. So another Goodwill find. This little thing it looks like I spent $1.99 on it and it's from Crate and Barrel. Goodwill! Um, I've seen people making these into candles, but I think this would be a really nice little catch tray for uh, people's keys or something. The only thing I am not sure I'm confident in buying, uh, I found this jumbo set of cards. And, uh, you know, great Airbnbs have games and books and stuff like that. I'm not really ready to buy that stuff yet. I'm more interested in buying, like, unique decor, but I don't know why. I couldn't resist it. I think it was a couple of bucks and it'll it'll go i think this might be the only full price item i've bought here um this is a bath tray it was in the target dollar spot i bought one for myself and have been using it in my bath and it's wonderful and so i picked up an extra one for the airbnb in case i have a bath and if not i have a spare one in case mine goes bad it was only five bucks which these are really expensive online i've looked for them before Almost finally, I got this cute wood shelf. Once again, I think this is like the acacia wood and I figure I could use this regardless of uh, what type of home I get. Just a nice little shelf. I think it was $3. And then I think this is the final thing. I found this at TJ Maxx or Ross or something and it's got this kind of unique little pattern. This is, this is not real. This is like a coating you can kind of see on the bottom, but it was about 15 bucks and I usually don't like three-legged things because my Roomba likes to knock them over, but I thought it might be a cute little coffee table or plant stand, probably for the Airbnb one day. But in the meantime, I've been using it. <laughs> all in all, I think I've spent a little over 100 bucks on all of this stuff, and I'm storing it in that closet back there until the time in which I will uh, <laughs> purchase an Airbnb short-term rental property. And yeah, I'm not mad at myself. I do feel a little bananas, but uh, I, th I hope you can see the vision. This is the first time I've pulled this stuff all out and looked at it together, and I feel like it all goes. It's a big departure from my personal style, which is a little bit more glam mid-century, and even you guys see my normal uh, background of shooting in my office, which is like floral bonanza nightmare. Um, this is very different. I love this style. I wouldn't want to live in it, but I would love to go stay in a unique um, short-term rental in Texas with this stuff in it. I think it would make it a really fun, fun place to stay and memorable too. So let me know if you think I'm crazy below, if you, um, if you liked any of this stuff, if you think it goes together. I do think the stuff that I'm selling on Mercari will cover this actually, even with the $50 piece of art. So we'd be at like a net zero there that would pay for all of this, or it can just pay for my next $150 worth of stuff for that place. Make sure you go check out Kelly's video on what she's collected for her short-term rental. It's a little more utilitarian. <laughs> she's, she's bought like mugs and stuff, which I'm just waiting for the right ones to come along for me to see it like a yard sale for that. I think I'm going to keep it pretty modern with like southwestern accents though. So we shall see. Make sure you subscribe if you want to join along the crazy journey and uh, see what comes along with my next uh, stream of income. If you want to check out my other streams of income, go ahead and check out this video. I'll also have it linked below and my other real estate investment property journey stuff also linked below. Thank you so much to Mercari for sponsoring this video and giving me the little push I needed to sell that stuff. And I highly encourage that you do the same thing. It is empowering to get stuff out of your house that you know you're not using and that might have been just like a mistake to purchase. All right, make sure to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time. Um, and let me know if you want another video like this too as I continue to collect more stuff. Like 10 of you are gonna call me a hoarder in the comments and I swear I'm trying to be very intentional about it but could you have resisted this pillow?
like <laughs> all right i will see you guys later bye i also got this lamp for ten dollars from that same state sale where i got the runner and the stool but it's so gorgeous i think i have to keep it for myself i love it and that my friends is the risk of hoarding things for a future property because you might just keep them <laughs> not all of them some that one <laughs>